Launceston, Tasmania's northern centre, is a city of parks and gardens and is built on hills flanking the Tamar River. Launceston is the centre for the North's business community, cultural activities, education and a large rural area serving a total population exceeding 100,000 people. One hundred and thirty metres of the Brisbane Street shopping area was always a problem section due to high traffic density, pedestrian congestion and resultant noise. In 1975, the Launceston City Council decided on a plan which would not only transform a city block in Brisbane Street, but which would have a long-range effect on the city proper. Stage one, create a mall, a place for people. When a city council starts on a program to rejuvenate the city centre, which has a total cost of nearly a million dollars, it needs community approval, particularly from businessmen. Well, the first and the most essential thing, I think, for more is to create the right environment. Uh, that is even more important, I think, than activities. Uh, activities should go on, they've got to be watched and controlled, and I think there's got to be care taken that they're not overdone. Will it be an easier place to shop? Uh, there will be not less traffic? and much more pleasant atmosphere. It's a good concept, it's progressive. I think it's the sort of thing which has got to happen to keep the town viable, particularly the inner city area. I think provided the people of Launceston are prepared to support the concept, it'll go well. I believe that we'll have a very strong promotional committee and uh, there'll be all sorts of uh, promotions to attract people into the heart of Launceston. And the person in the street also has an opinion. It's just nice to be able to go out, out of work and just walk straight across the street and enjoy yourself for a change. I think it's very good. Well, I like it myself. I think, you know, I'd rather have the shopping concentrating in the, in the center, city centre rather than spreading out into shopping centres. Yeah, I'd a lot rather have it that way. Well, I think it's real good, you know, when you're doing your shopping, you haven't got to be on the lookout for cars coming and you can sort of just shop and change and go to different shops without the, the idea that you're going to get knocked down by the cars. <laughs> Early in 1975, the barriers went up, excluding traffic from the city block for all time. Welcome along, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I think this morning it's uh, such a beautiful day. Uh, I do hope that this augurs well for the success of the mall. Uh, the council believes that this is going to be something for Launceston, a first for Launceston. It's the only one of its kind in the state. It's one of the few proper malls in Australia. Armed with approval of the entire community, the mayor struck the first blow. Then began the mammoth task of tearing up the existing roadway and the removal of tram tracks which had been buried under successive layers of bitumen. The Launceston City Council workforce really pulled out all the stops. Looking for tomorrow, a day I want to borrow, 
searching for a place in time, away from doubt and sorrow. Work was done with a minimum of inconvenience to shoppers. Services such as water, power, gas, telephone cables, sewerage and drainage had to be relocated. New services had to be built, an electric grid for lighting and an underground watering system for foliage in the mall. After paving and sealing from frontage to frontage, concrete planter boxes were constructed which were to hold semi-mature trees and plants. The trees had been grown in advance for up to seven years and when planted were up to 10 meters tall. To obtain the maximum effect through the seasons, contrast was sought between dark foliage conifers and the light greens and yellows of deciduous trees with summer and autumn coloring. Launceston's Mall is tiled throughout. Hard-wearing coloured concrete paving tiles were placed with a view to harmonising with their surroundings and according to their zone were either fish scale or cobblestone types. The mall pavement is divided into three zones. Each zone is separated from the octagonal tiled general pedestrian areas by a border of square margin tiles, darker brown in colour. As well as general harmony, the zones have the effect of slowing down pedestrian movement in some areas, whilst allowing for a normal pace for shoppers. To cope with a parking problem created by an all-pedestrian mall, and access for delivery vehicles servicing the stores, the council had to purchase property for ground level car parks and service access to the rear of stores. These have been described as both a blessing and a curse. A blessing because they provide parking in close proximity to prime retail outlets and a curse in that land suitable for higher usage is eaten up in parking space. As the mall neared completion, it was furnished Service organisations and individuals all helped in providing funds for special features. A kiosk was built to provide an information centre for local residents and visitors. Oiled blackwood seating was designed to visually blend with paving and planting structures. Litter bins with orange fibreglass liners were installed and it was found that 1940 period telephone cabinets painted to fit in with the tones of the mall added balance to the overall decor. Play boxes provide exercise and boundless delight for young Launcestonians and visitors. The big day Saturday the 11th of October 1975 saw the realisation of a plan which was discussed as early as 1973. For the Mayor, Alderman Gunn, all the Council officers and the Minister for Tourism, Mr Michael Barnard, it was a proud moment. I congratulate you on behalf of the Government of Tasmania for the most magnificent development of the Mall in Launceston. Alderman Cleaver, uh, Mr. Minister, Mr. Perrett, and ladies and gentlemen. Well, first of all, can I say how pleased I am to see such a large number of people in the mall for this historic occasion. Uh, certainly the opening of the mall has no doubt attracted quite a number of people, but I believe that every Saturday morning of the year uh, we'll see this mall thronged with people making more and more use of the facility that's been provided. The mall has become a central point in Launceston for many activities such as festivals, concerts, fashion displays, pageants, street stalls and such. But it is merely a beginning and the council is being asked when the mall will be extended.
Based on an exhaustive Launceston Central Area study, eventually the entire city centre will be a series of malls and semi-malls, and design of this has commenced. So the mall is a cornerstone for a pattern of life which promises to be unique, not only in Australia, but throughout overcrowded, polluted major cities of the world.